doing that. <laughs> so I was uh, surfing the internet the other night with my brother, my bro, broski sibling, and uh, we weren't looking for anything in particular. We were just typing around stuff like cat falls over, you know, that sort of stuff. He types in taser knuckle duster, which pretty much sums him up. You know, what if you got to punch someone, why not electrocute him too? <laughs> Two things surprised me during the search. The first is that they exist, they're out there. You know, the taser duster is available for your purchase. The second thing, I really, really wanted one. I'll tell you why, because I've always wanted to be a superhero. And now, thanks to the knuckle taser, I can throw a wicked ass lightning punch! <laughs> Give me some rocket boots, I'm ready for my cape. <laughs> so uh, I have trouble telling the difference between my lefts and rights, and uh, everyone I speak to about this has their own little rule for getting around it. Uh, this is one of my favourites. You make an L shape with both your hands. And whichever L is the right way around is your left hand. L for left, I thought that was pretty damn clever. My problem with the rule is uh, I'm slightly lizdexic. Can't tell which one's a fucking L anyway. <laughs> I don't want to emphasize the word slightly there, you know, because I recognize that there's a difference. There's uh, lisdexia, major learning disability. Slight lisdexia, minor inconvenience. <laughs> Every now and then I'll find myself Googling grill on grill action. <laughs> it may not have been what I was looking for, but now I have a very snazzy barbecue, so I win. <laughs> Uh, I signed up for Oasis.com a while ago, back when I was single. Uh, telepathic congratulations to me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I felt at the time it was, a, it was a good move. It was a positive step towards writing my book, 101 Reasons to Resort to Stalking. <laughs> it was sad. I found it very depressing. Mostly because I followed a very set pattern. I'm not sure if uh, you know the pattern. I'm going to tell it to you. And if, you, if you're hearing it and you understand it, just give me a cheer. Uh, it goes like this. You find an attractive girl. Woo! You send her an attractive girl. Oh, nice to meet you. You send her a contact request. She denies your contact request. You lower your standards. You find a girl. You send her a contact request. She denies your contact request. You lower your standards. This went on for months. It's a good thing I eventually met a girl face to face because I was sending contact requests to barnyard animals. One of them was a runner-up in a Chewbacca look-alike contest. <laughs> I know when people throw money into water fountains that aren't specifically marked as wishing wells. They got this happening down at Harbour Town, there's a fountain there. It's got no marking that it's good luck or goes to any sort of charity, but we continue to throw coinage into it. I don't understand the reasoning. What are people walking past and just going, oh look, so it's an aesthetic water feature. Well that's lovely, that's nice. I feel like I need to contribute to the scene. What can I do? Oh, I know. I'll throw in some bits of metal that'll go all green and fucked up at the bottom. <laughs> now it's much better. <laughs> I did have a friend take me aside on this. He pulls me aside, he goes, Rob, it's always good luck to throw money into the water fountain, okay? Doesn't have to be a wishing well. It's always good luck. Fine, throw your money in. It's your money. I don't care. But at least throw something worth fishing out. <laughs> I'm sick of waiting through silvers going 20, 40, 60, 80 a dollar. Nah. You throw a gold coin or you throw nothing at all. This is my compromise. I got bills to pay. <laughs> uh, you know when you have a dog and you have company over, and uh, the first thing your dog does is run over and bury its head in the crotch of your guest. That's <laughs> fun times. Don't they always do? So they look at you and go, oh, he must be able to smell my dog. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I need to finish that one. <laughs> How much time do I have left? That's... Uh, I don't know. Okay, I've just got to add a bit. Alright, um... Let me tell you about play school. Alright, you because know, play school, they betrayed me. They lied to me. Alright? And I'll tell you when they lie, because they lie every show. When they bring out the play school clock, it's not the time that they say it is. <laughs> I never knew this. I used to set my watch to the play school clock. <laughs> Get home and be like, what time is the play school? 5.30, thanks. I was over two hours out. 